The purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to use the United States International Keyboard. You can use it in Windows 7 and there are also tutorials on this page if you're using Vista or XP. The advantage of using an international keyboard is mainly to type diacritics, otherwise known as accent marks, in French. This would also apply for Spanish. How do you get the international keyboard? First of all, you go to the start menu and you type intl.cpl and then press enter. This brings you to the region and language menu and you want to click change keyboards. You want to add another keyboard and look for English, United States, pull out the menu, again expand the menu and look for United States International, tick it, press OK. In the default input language, again you expand the menu, click on United States International, click apply again, press OK and again press OK. Now when you first do this, you'll see that on your taskbar you have a language icon, click that and click on show the language bar. Click the language and then tick the United States language. So now in order to show you how to use this keyboard and also this is good if you're just practicing using it, you, it's very useful to have the on-screen keyboard and to get the on-screen keyboard go to all programs Go to Accessories, click, click on System uh, Ease of Access, and then you get the on-screen keyboard, and you click there. So here you have an on-screen keyboard, and check once in a while that you're still in the United States language, because sometimes it will default back to to UK keyboard. So now we have our on-screen keyboard. Again, it's defaulted back, so click to United States. And here we can click to United States again. Okay, we can default it. So the main advantage of this keyboard is that when you press on the right out or alt gr so you get dead keys which when you press them will give you this configuration so if you press alt gr and e you get the e acute or alt gr and the comma you'll get a cedilla or again the e dans la so now I'll just be using the keys, but you'll see that when I use the keys, it actually highlights them on the keyboard. So I press Alt G R and E, and it gives me an acute E. This will capitalize. I'll do it again. That's the lowercase. The same for the cedilla. I press Alt G R and here for the cedilla. So I was writing français. So il. And now you have the cedilla. It's very convenient. The out GR and the cedilla comes up. For other types of accents, for example, if you want to do the grave, this is the grave accent and it works with the control button. So you press control, then you hit this key, release it, and then press E and you get the grave. So this is also useful for when you for the preposition a, il, va, and now you want the a with a grave accent. You do the same. Control, press this key, and then you press a, and you get the preposition a. So you want to the circumflex accent, for example, ahead, une tête. Here you would press control, 
And now you want to press shift because you want the uppercase of this key, which is the circumflex. So you press shift, press on that key, release them all, and then press E, and you get the circumflex. And the same will work for the U. Il est sûr, he is sure. So you want the circumflex over the U. Again, control, shift, press this key, and then the U. So this works for all of the diacritics that you need. If you want a tremor, you use this key. You see the two dots? When you use it as a diacritic, it flips around. So for example, if you want a diacritic on an E with Noel, so no. Now you want the diacritic there, you press, and again it's on the upper case, press control, shift, you hit that this key, and then you release and press on E. If you want it on the word Loïc, which is a first name in French that takes a tréma, lo, and then you want the tréma on the I, Again, control, shift, you press on this key, and you release and press I and C. Now, if you want to do the same thing in a browser, it can be slightly different. Essentially, the keyboard layout is the same. So if you're in a browser and you press the Alt G and you want, need to type a cedilla, it's the same, C. Or, again, a Q, D. E. If you want to type a grab E, this is going to be slightly different. You press on the function key, and you press here, and then type the E. That's the only difference. Before you were pressing control, now it's going to be function. And this will work also for the A. So function F A. And also for the circumflex accent, Tet again, excuse me, so it's function, shift, 6, E, there you go. The International American Keyboard really is very useful to type diacritics both in Word and online, which is a feature that's not really available when you're typing in a British keyboard. It takes a bit of getting used to and I hope that this uh, on-screen keyboard may help you in getting it right.